it's Monday afternoon. I got about an hour left before I have to go to work. I'm not getting up late, I'm just starting the vlog late. And welcome to my vlog. So I'm starting it a little late. I got up and let the dog out and you know what, I'm gonna go in the garage because it's warmer in there, maybe. I don't know, it is a little warmer in here. So yeah, I got up at about one and uh, did some things like laundry and all that and didn't even, kept forgetting to grab my camera. Well, I have my camera, I just kept forgetting to go upstairs and grab the memory card out of the computer. But uh, it's coming out for a cigarette now and I was like, you know what, I better start the vlog. So I finally armed the camera with a memory card and came outside. All of our snow is gone again. It's all gone. Holy. It's probably not going to be till like mid-January till we actually get any real snow. So we will just have to wait and see. But they salted the roads yesterday, which is stupid. Well, I think they only salted the bus routes. So now the road's covered in little white rocks. Because they use rocks all day. So that's always fun. Salting the road when there's nothing on it. Good times. Well, we got six more days till Christmas. Yay. And uh, I think I have to poop. Holy crap. Oh, poop cramp, poop cramp, and we're good. Okay, so on that note, I better finish my cigarette and go inside, because I just had a poop cramp. But, uh, yeah, um, not sure what's going on tonight. I know I gotta work. Probably just gonna come home after work, get more laundry done, get more cleanup done. And, uh, not tomorrow night, but Wednesday night, we're gonna do a late Walmart run, because I got some more crap to get. And then, uh, frig, we're ready for Christmas. We'll just do the friggin' wrapping of the presents. And you guys can laugh at my awesome wrapping job because I suck at wrapping presents friggin' big times. Watch the girlfriend wrap presents and look so pretty and then you watch me wrap presents. You can see the white from the paper. <laughs> oh, I'm just horrible at wrapping presents, but that's all right. The way I see it is, is it doesn't matter what it looks like when you wrap it. You're gonna unwrap it anyway and you're tearing the shit out of the paper and throwing it in the garbage, so it shouldn't be that big of a deal. But, uh, yeah. I better get inside and go for a poop and then uh, get ready and go to work. Well, I'm hoping tonight's an easy night. Well, there's four of us on, so hopefully it should be pretty easy. <coughs> it's the day staff that suffered today because they got a guy on vacation. And uh, we got one guy on vacation and they got another guy that's, uh, well, we're missing an employee. So we're short staffed. So day staff has like three people working. Night staff has four. Oh, well, it's the way she goes. But, uh, I'm gonna go and get ready for work. And I'll talk to you guys in a minute. Oh, it's that time. Time where I gotta go to work. It's windy in the frig out right now, so I can't imagine what it's gonna be like at work. But let's uh, jump in this pig and take off and look. No snow, no snow, no snow. Alrighty. Drive to work, drive to work. Oh. Oh, that must have been loud on the camera, eh, with the wind blowing right on it. So yeah, I was looking on Deal Extreme and I saw these cameras that you suction cup to your windshield. And they have uh, 720p recording, decent microphone, and uh, they have a 160 degree angle lens on them, which means it'd be kind of like driving with a GoPro. So I was thinking of scooping one up for in-car cam instead of using the, the Flip HD here. I was going to use that. And that way there we'd have uh, a permanent camera in the car. I wouldn't have to physically, you know, disconnect it and reconnect it. Apparently it records all the time. You just pull the SD card out to edit. So I was thinking of ordering that up for these segments here where I'm driving in the car showing you guys the road. All crap, or behind a big friggin' tractor. Evasive maneuvers? I do believe I will. How to scare the crap out of traffic. See that? That's how you scare the crap out of traffic. Frig, this road's wide enough to have three friggin' lanes. So a lot of my Australian viewers go, how come you never really compare anything to Australia? Well, I don't really know much about Australia. Except for I just found out that you guys do Boxing Day too, so that, now you're ultra cool on my list. 
ultra cool. You were cool before because you had Vegemite, and that stuff's just friggin' tasty as hell. But uh, now that I found out that you guys do Boxing Day, that's friggin' awesome. I love Boxing Day. It gets wicked. So here's a question to all my Australian uh, subscribers. Here in Canada, you cannot do any returns on December 26th, which is Boxing Day. Is it the same in Australia? Can you do returns on Boxing Day, or do they say no? Because in Canada, they stop. Well, I know in North Bay, for instance, like Walmart and Future Shop and stuff like that, they will not let you do a return on Boxing Day. You got to go later on in the week because Boxing Day, they're just so busy friggin' dealing with selling stuffs and, you know, it's busier than frig. Oh, how's my driving? Look at that. Freaking phone number. How's my driving? But, um, yeah, they don't allow it. But, you know, I'm, I'm hoping I'm not upsetting any of my Australian viewers because I, I always compare stuff around here to the, to the States. The only reason why I do that is because I, I don't know, like, everything's always compared to the States, I find. But I, I don't really know much about, like, the exchange rate from our currency to your currency over in Australia, you know. I know right now we're close to on par with the U.S. as dollar for dollar. I think they're beating us a little bit, not sure. Or we're beating them a little bit, not sure, but it's pretty much dollar for dollar. But, uh, yeah. If you guys want, I, I, I could make it feel more like, more like, you know, we're, we're, we're in Australia. Here, tell you what, I'll do that right now. I'll make it feel more like we're in Australia. Okay, there we go. How's that? Is that, is that, you like that? I remember I did this once on a vlog uh, on the Skaven channel, my first time trying a daily vlog on there, and it actually worked out not too bad. I was bored that day, and I decided, what the hell, brought the Kodak with me, and when I edited the video, I forgot to uh, mirror it. That's back in my uh, Magic's Movie Edit Pro days. But, um, there, so, now, it's like we're driving in Australia. You know, I tried driving a right-hand drive car. My buddy has one. It's um, a Nissan Silvia, which is basically the, the Japanese version of uh, the North American 240SX. And, you know, it, driving on the left-hand side of the road, right-hand drive makes complete sense. You know, complete sense. But driving on the right-hand side of the road in a right-hand drive car, Holy shit, is that ever crazy. It is really, really, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? I'm gonna say uncomfortable, distracting, odd. Like the shifting and all that is pretty much the same. Like first gear is still over to the left and up and they didn't reverse that. So that's not the problem. The problem was, was if you got a big truck in front of you and you wanna pass it, like let's say you're on the highway and you wanna pass it, and it's a yellow dotted line in the middle, then you have no idea if anything's coming at you when you go to pass it. So unless you have some crazy mirror contraption set up to look around the car, there is a 50-50 chance that when you go to pass, you're gonna go head on with another transport and you're gonna get critically hurt. So, just saying, right? Just saying. I don't know how, like, we got a couple people in town here with those right-hand drives, and I honestly have no friggin' idea how the hell they do it. Like, they drive them all summer long. They won't drive them in the winter because they salt the roads so much that even with a good amount of undercoating, there's still an excellent chance that your car's not making it through the winter. So, that's the reason why I don't drive the TA in the winter. Because even if I were to undercoat it, I still would be so upset if something happened where the floor rotted out on that car. That guy has a sticker on his windshield. It's D-E-A-D-C-F-T-Y. I don't even know what it means. I don't know if that's a band name or... It's in a really cool font though. I don't know what the font is, but it's really cool. So, uh... Did you guys watch Bill's T. Max's video yesterday of how to take apart a bar, uh, microwave? <laughs> oh, that guy's a riot. Frig sakes. Friggin' makes a, a homemade pipe bomb and <laughs> blows the friggin' door off of it. Uh, I thought I was watching a Poo Poo Garrett video there at first. I had to, uh, I had to take a better look at it. I was like, I had to look at the username and actually go to the channel page and make sure for a minute. I thought for sure I was watching a friggin' Poo Poo Garrett video. 
Yeah, what his microwave's doing is that's what our old microwave at work was doing. For some reason, the paint chipped around the door and metal was exposed. And uh, you get a really sweet light show when the magneto would be rolling over cooking your food. So, we used to arc weld with uh, microwaves back in the day just for fun. You take two forks, don't try this at home in your parents' microwave. <laughs> Do not. You'll probably end up damaging the microwave big time. But we used to take two metal objects, like two forks, or actually this happened at work by accident. And once my boss brought in two metal bowls and he had them sitting in the microwave, forgot the me no metal in the microwave, right? And they're sitting pretty close to each other. And sure enough, he friggin' fires it up and the two bowls, he saw a spark and quickly turned it off. The spark was enough to arc weld both bowls together. <laughs> it was awesome. Oh boy, five more days. Alrighty, and we're at work. And we're at work. Oh, so bumpy. Let's see if I have a place to put my car. Parking around here is so decked. And I just got told by a co worker that there's no parking anywhere. He basically had to park his in a handicapped parking spot, which means. He's going to get a note from the parking, uh, local parking authority that uh, you parked in the wrong spot and... Oh, frig sakes. Frig, frig sakes. Well, I guess I'll park back here in the back 40. Just cocked. Alright guys, well, um, I guess uh, I'll talk to you on my break. So, until then, have a good one. Alrighty, well, it's 6 o'clock break time and just like I anticipated, Christmas week, well, tonight anyway, is a slow night. I guess everybody's doing that whole spending time with their family thing, and the internet's not that big of a priority thing, so that's an awesome thing. Also, I just completed uh, another Christmas carol, <laughs> if you want to call it that. Um, uh, I remixed Silent Night. <laughs> Silent Night, the not-so-silent edition, if you get my drift. Um, I'm thinking about doing Jingle Bells and uh, dashing through the snow there. I think that's the name of the song. And uh, I might upload these to break.com. I'll put a link to them in the description of the vlog. And then uh, you, you guys can check that out and see what you think. I'll also make MP3 versions for downloads in case you want to make an epic Boosh CD and rock that in your car or at your grandparents' place on Christmas night or, you know, give it to someone as a gift. It's a funny gift. Stuff like that. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm doing now. I'm, uh, Working on that, uh, answering calls, and uh, just freaking giving her. So yeah, it's been a pretty awesome night. Holy, so that's the problem when you park over there. See that truck, he can't just back out and drive out. He's got to back all the way out because there's no room. These parking lots here and over there are way too thin, so accidents do occur. But yeah, it's break time. It's not even cold out. It's probably around zero degrees out. Uh, so that's what, 32 Fahrenheit? And it feels pretty good. No wind, no dampness. We're gonna get snow. We're gonna get snow. Actually, they're calling for partially cloudy all week, right through to Christmas. And then in the new year, they're calling for snow, but that's the long term forecast, and that shit's never right. But you never know. But anywho, I'm gonna head her back inside and go from there. So I guess I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Oh, uh, shit's just dicked. Oh, I hate Christmas. <laughs> Mainly because of it stresses me the fuck out. So get this right. Christmas Eve, I'm off this year. Usually I work every Christmas Eve and I don't get off till 10 o'clock at night. At which point we rush over to my parents' house and we do our Christmas there. So we unwrap presents there. And then after that we rush over to the girlfriend's parents' house and we get to unwrap one present which is usually pajamas. On Christmas Day we go over to the girlfriend's parents' house and we spend pretty much the whole friggin' day at the girlfriend's parents' house. Well this year I'm off for Christmas Eve, so my dad wanted me to go over to his house a little earlier, like at 6. They're going to do like pizza and stuff like that, chips, and just have snacks and, you know, just have a good time there. But the girlfriend's parents went and said they're doing a spaghetti dinner Christmas Eve and they want us to be there too. So of course, guess what the girlfriend wants to do? Spend Christmas Eve and Christmas Day with her parents and, you know, fuck my parents. So it's like, we're really dickered out here. Like we're. In it's, it's really fucking cocked. So now I'm going to have to explain to her, like, this is what my dad wants to do, and I kind of want to do that. And she's all pissed off because her parents invited my parents for Christmas dinner. 
with my grandmother passing away recently dad's just not in the mood to really celebrate christmas so he's just kind of like you know i'm just gonna go with it and uh he just they wanna they're gonna go over to my uncle's house christmas day so he just wants to hang out with my uncle because my uncle's gonna be uh, alone for christmas and oh my god it's gonna stress me out i might be single in the new year's guys i might be single in the new year's i might just fucking snap but uh We'll see how this goes. I'm expecting a fight. I'm expecting a big fight. I'm expecting to get right stressed out and just fucking lose it. But uh, I'm sorry I'm swearing a lot, but uh, basically I'm expecting this because it's going to happen. And we'll see how this goes over. But, uh, oh, for freak's sakes. So sick of this shit. Tis the season to be jolly, right? Well, that's if the road goes both ways. But it uh, seems lately it doesn't. Anyway, whatever. We'll friggin' figure this out and go with it. Anywho, it's lunchtime. I need to get some food in my belly. Friggin' I can hear it grumbling. It's trying to eat itself. And I was told that if it actually succeeds, well, I told the guy last night when he said that, that if your stomach starts eating itself, get that shit on tape. Because I looked all over YouTube and I couldn't find a video of a stomach eating itself. So if you get that happening, you friggin' videotape that, man. That's a viral video. But I'm gonna go, I left my lunch in the car there, so I'm gonna go pick that up, head her back inside and eat. And then uh, I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Later. Holy shit! Work is done. I was saying, Adam, you came out on your lunch break and you're pretty angry and you didn't come out and do another video afterwards being all happy. Why? Why didn't you do that? Well, I um, kind of pulled a boner move today and I kind of sort of maybe have forgot to bring a spare battery for uh, my camera. All I have left is the flip. <laughs> well, right now I'm on my way over to Walmart to meet up with Cat Piss. Yep, when I said we were gonna do Saturday night and last night, what I wanna do tonight. I'm not getting anything. Actually, I might get some sugar so I can make some coffee at the house. <sighs> yeah, it's blowing a little bit of snow right now. Not a big deal. But uh, I went ahead and uploaded the music video right to the friggin' uh, right to my YouTubes. I was going to put it on break.com, try to make a little bit of extra money, but then I realized how it works. You need to get two friggin' videos to make it to their front page. I don't have the popularity to get that done, so I was like, you know what, frig it. If I really wanted to make money, I would just put it up on Blip and link it. Mind you, I could have done that. Frig sakes. Eh, it's snowing out. Whether or not we get enough snow to make it matter, that's another story, but... Yeah. Well, I have a little bit of juice left in the can, and I might film inside of Walmart. We will see. We will friggin' see. <sighs> that was a boring night at work, but we got through it. I'm getting some awesome comments on the uh, second one, second Christmas song. Some of you like it, some of you think it's stupid. I have fun, whatever. I have fun. To me, that's all that matters. But, uh, I got a little project for Bill's T-Max. <laughs> has to do with that pipe bomb, pipe bomb video. And, uh, yeah, you'll, you'll see. I might get that done tonight and put it up on uh, Vlog and Life for him. The whole how it should have ended. Just something, something I was thinking of when he lit that dud pipe bomb yesterday and was holding it in his hand. I'm gonna blow that guy up. <laughs> oh, this is not like me. Since I've owned the Canon, I've always carried a spare battery on me at all times. This is the first, the first time that I've brought the Canon out and I didn't bring a spare battery. Just dicked. So the Minecraft server went down tonight. Nobody can connect with a 502 uh, error. Well, bad gateway. Something must have happened over at Minecraft.net and it caused something to flare up because uh, every time you try and connect it would fail. So I had to go and muck around with settings and turn some stuff off to uh, allow people to connect. Only problem now is anybody can connect. Well, anybody whitelisted can connect. So. I'm sure they'll fix it and then I'll revert the settings back. 
I just set it like this here for now just to uh, keep the happy people happy. Now, oh, where the frig did he put his car? Where is he even here yet? I'll park beside this minivan, I guess. And go inside. So talk to you guys in a bit. Alrighty, well, I, I didn't film anything inside of Walmart because we were, didn't really do anything exciting. You know, you guys wanted to watch Cat Piss pick out stuff for his girlfriend stalking, so. so yeah, yeah. So I walked around Walmart. It's currently 12.50 in the morning. Almost 1 a.m. I still gotta go home and edit. Still can't believe I forgot my spare battery for my cannon, but what can you do? What can you do? <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So on Wednesday I'll go finish up my shopping, get all that done, and then Wednesday night I can wrap presents and get all that done and show you guys how shitty of a rapper I am and you guys can lol at that because lolling at my rap jobs is fun. I lol at them too because they're just hideous. And then uh, yeah, then we'll go from there. I'm bringing mine a seven out, but a super doesn't feel like that right now, let me tell you. Holy shit. It is bitter cold out right now because it's so damp, that's why. It's trying to snow, but then it stops and it starts and it stops and it starts. It's just weird weather. Very weird weather. Green light means go. Alright, well, I guess I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Yeah, I just tried to fire up the cannon and it's not going to happen, so I'll have to finish off the vlog with the flip. So, what can I do, right? But I'm home now, I'm going to head her inside and do that editing and uploading and all that fun stuff. And if you like today's video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comment section below. And until next time, guys, keep on vlogging!